Welcome everyone to the Zion Coalition Scheme and how it can help your business, which is all part of the East Suffolk Business Festival 2022. We are really glad to have with us today um, Frank Desai from Net Matters. Now, the annual East Suffolk Business Festival is an opportunity for businesses to learn something new, find out what's happening in their local area and how they can get involved, and also how they can access local support programmes. For 2022, the theme for this year's business festival is All Things Digital, and the events will include the launch of the new digital business support programmes, digital tech demos, information on local digital schemes and projects, and a wide range of workshops, webinars, and learning seminars. All the uh, events are being held online to enable local businesses to access the support and information they need more conveniently. And of course, they can just pop along anytime throughout their working day. Recorded events, podcasts and pre-recorded webinars will be made available for the two week period and beyond. And of course, you can access this at eastsuffolkmeansbusiness.co.uk. Uh, this is one of the many events that have been scheduled. So to find out about other events taking place, um, please visit our website, East Suffolk Means Business, to have a look at see if there's anything there that might well interest you. Um, please note that today's event is being recorded and you will be able to watch it back later via the East Suffolk Means Business website. Um, if you want to ask any questions throughout today's event, please either submit a question via the Q&A button at the bottom bar of your screen or add a question to the chat, but do please ensure this is for all attendees um, so it doesn't get missed. Um, there'll be a short poll at the end of the event to help us shape future events. So I would now like to hand you over to Frank of Net Matters. Uh, good afternoon. Thank you very much, um, as well as um, as alluded to, my name is Frank Desai. I am the commercial head of Scion Development for a firm called Net Matters. Um, what I would like today is just sort of flip this around quickly and share my screen, um, and then I'll hand it back over to the economic development team to take it forward from there. So if you just bear with me a second, please, I will get that sorted. Can everyone see that okay? Perfect. Um, so what I would really like to do today is just provide you a bit more of an overview in terms of who we are as a firm, what I'm here to discuss with you and how we could potentially assist the wider community with regard to all things digital moving forward. Um, and then by sort of side seven-ish, um, I'll hand back to the team who then showcase an introductory video that we've put together. Uh, knowing that today, I think video content is a lot more easily digested than listening to some guy at the other side of the phone or on video trying to explain something that many people may not probably understand. Um, so I'll, I'll shoot straight off. Um, as alluded to, the company is Net Matters. Um, Net Matters are one of Norfolk's leading technological firms, um, including Suffolk as well. I, I put Norfolk in initially because that's, that's where the, the, the main base is in Wyndham. Um, but we do span and we do have national clients as well. So not, not just a firm based here solely. Uh, we were established back in 2008. So we're running for November. This year will be 14 years. Um, and as alluded to, we are a, a full service digital agency. Now, a lot of companies claim to be that, but as a firm, we specialize in web and software development. So that's everything from websites to applications, business management systems, et cetera. Um, we also specialize in digital marketing. Um, for those of you that know things like SEO, so search engine optimization, all the Google type stuff, paid for advertising campaigns, social media marketing, things like on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, et cetera. Um, and then we also do a lot of IT support. So that's everything that a company really needs to keep it going in terms of the computers, so desktops, uh, laptops, the servers, down to network cabling and the likes. Uh, but then we also have an arm of the business that deals with telecoms, so VoIP telephone systems, voice over internet protocols, um, which is internet phones in essence, and also connectivity. So broadband, Wi-Fi, leased lines, that type of thing. So when I say full service, everything really in the tech sphere. Um, we are currently about 105 staff, if I'm not mistaken, when I last checked. And 
there is about 12 different job vacancies. So if anyone's interested, netmatters.co.uk forward slash our careers, um, and, and you'll have a look at that there. And we have three main offices. One is in Wyndham, another in Galston, close to Great Yarmouth, and a third office was set up about a year and a half ago in Cambridge. Um, so we are this side of the world, call it, from in the east. Um, we operate on a broad spectrum of clients, um, as alluded to earlier, so that everything from manufacturing to dog food to e-commerce to retail, solicitors, law firms, and the like. So we definitely do have a really good grip on, on business as a whole in the area. Um, and we've also won a few awards along the way. Um, and we also have various accreditations, which means that we are who we say we are because we work to certain standards. So everything from Google and Microsoft partners, we form part of the Norfolk and uh, Future 50. We're part of the Carbon Charter, Cyber Essentials. We have ISO accreditation and the likes. So just ensuring that when customers come to us or when clients look at us as a business, they know what we do is, is in line with what's needed. Um, so moving straight on, what I'm what I would like to do today is really just provide you an overview in terms of why I'm here and what I'd like to discuss. Um, we have created a technical training program called the Scion Coalition Scheme. Now, we've won a few awards for this, and most notably in 2020, won the Princess Royal Training Award. Um, it was delivered to us, uh, or it was that the matriarch of the awards is Princess Anne. Uh, however, due to COVID, we weren't able to have the presentation at Buckingham Palace, which I am still gutted about, but she did jump on a Zoom call with us. Not the same thing, being in my office or Buckingham Palace, but it, it gave us a feel good factor at least. Um, the program itself is down to technical training, as alluded to. I think one of the main things to understand that Unlike any other training, it is a highly intensive, totally immersive training experience. Um, what I mean by that, it's, it's a full-time role, but it's designed to give you real-world experience in the fast-moving industry of technology. It also covers the three main areas of our business. So that's the web and software development, the digital marketing, as well as the IT support. So it's it's, it's not a one size fits all. It's not a cookie cutting exercise. We work alongside individuals, candidates, young, old, completely diverse range of, of, of people and provide them the training they need in order to get their desired job roles. So from that, sorry, went the wrong way. Um, initially, it started back in 2016. So it was really born out of a need for developer resource. We found it near enough impossible to recruit web or software developers at the time. I think the main thing there is that with recruitment firms, they always looked at a CV and thought if somebody built a WordPress website, um, they were a software developer. However, for those who know or who've looked online, there are bucket loads of off the shelf platforms like Wix and Squarespace and WordPress, where you can buy a template, add the images, add your content, and all of a sudden you have a website. Now, for me, that's the ability to copy and, copy and paste or drag and drop. It doesn't mean you know how to code. So with that being said, and the fact that I think for a lot of tech companies, it is their number one constraint to growth. Um, what I mean by that, just to blow that out a bit more, all our technical people, be that web developers, digital marketers, or IT technicians, we consider to be fee earners. Now, in the same way a law firm would charge for each of their solicitors' time, as a firm, we only sell our time and we sell our expertise in the same way. So what that means is that I can't take on more work if I don't have the bums on seats in order to facilitate that work or get the work done for clients. So we needed to ensure that we built a program that would assist us in sort, sort, sorting that problem uh, or or at least just plugging that gap. Now, there or therefore as well, we also reached the stage and across the UK today, there is a massive skills shortage in tech. It's, it's huge. There are tens of thousands of jobs available and there's not enough training providers or colleges or unis that will actually be able to feed that number. So what happened next? We needed to, at the time, 
devise a training program that would allow our candidates to work autonomously. Now, what that means is that they didn't have to have their hand held or they didn't have to have someone behind them telling them what they had to do. They used to simply just work off a task list, complete the steps of the task, complete the task, complete the module, complete the course in essence. However, saying that we do have a team of software developers and a project management team that sit behind the entire course to ensure that if anyone's stuck at any point, there's a helping hand, just a phone call, a Zoom call, or within the office to assist. Now, when I, when I mentioned earlier about the totally immersive experience, it is a full-time role. It's a full-time training program. But what that also then means is the fact that it's an eight-hour day or a 40-hour week. The main reason for that is twofold. One, you are fully immersed in everything tech. So you're learning as you go. You'll see things happen. You'll be experienced or you'll experience different things. You'll be in project scrums or meetings where, where loads of different information will be thrown at you, which later on will make sense as you could proceed through the course. And that also coupled with the fact that when you leave the course, that's the type of job you're going into. You are then going into a full-time role elsewhere. So if you're doing months with us on the course, you're already well prepared or sufficiently prepared at least to take on your next role. Um, we then also joined part of the skills task force uh, locally. Their main remit was to bridge the skills gap in tech. Uh, shortly followed by that, we became we collaborated with the Department of Work and Pensions and the local job centers, which then allowed us to take people that are currently on benefits or universal credits, train them up and get them to work in tech. Following on from there, we joined forces with Suffolk County Council, Norfolk County Council, the LEP, um, and we still continuously work with those teams just to try to get the reach out there to get more people trained and to get more people into tech. How it's currently going? Um, as alluded to, oh, sorry, I think I missed one. No. So ever since COVID hit, uh, what used to be considered a 100% office-based training program, again, to give you that real-world experience, we then had to shapeshift online. To our surprise, um, the efficiency level actually increased. We found that people took to the course more because the ability to work remotely or to work in the comfort of one's home is really appealing to a lot of techies. Um, I think for the most part of it, when our developers, when they plug in or so when they have the headphones in and they're coding, it's like a do not disturb sign. And if you spend most of your day doing that, you're not really chatting to people about random stuff. You're just sort of cracking on with your work. Um, because of COVID, because we went remotely and the success continued, um, again, we were in touch with the DWP and the question was posed to us. So if we can do this so successfully remotely in our local area, Norfolk and Suffolk, why could we not take this out to the wider nation in the UK? Um, of course, my MD was more than happy to oblige because he just handed off to me to steer and move forward. Um, but we then did. So now we're in Greater Manchester, Berkshire, Buckinghamshire, Oxfordshire. Um, we're speaking to the team in the West Midlands. I think it's about in total about 14 or 15 different towns and cities in the UK that we are now speaking to and getting the program out there. Um, still by far, our biggest contributors, our biggest successes are locally, both Norfolk, Suffolk, Cambridge, um, and, and the likes sort of the home counties. Uh, but that it's continuously going from strength to strength. Uh, we find ourselves as finalists or award winners for the training program in a lot of different sort of in different regions. So I think tomorrow night we're at the Cambridge Awards um, for the same as well. Um, EDP Awards we've won, as alluded to earlier, the Princess Royal Training Award, which is more national. And it, it stood us along some of the big hitters in terms of training and what they're able to offer the wider community. Um, so in a nutshell, that, that is pretty much sort of who we are and, and what we do. Um, but for those who are particularly interested is there's a simple three-step process to the training program. Um, there's an online application form, which you can see on your screen now. Uh, if you click the link, it will lead you straight to the website. Uh, once that's completed, there's a, a video slash telephone interview and a test or technical challenge that would follow that. Upon successful completion of that, 
look to get you on board um, and then we take it from there. Uh, but what I would like to do now is just hand over back to the economics team um, and I have a short little introductory video that will hopefully summarize everything that I've said to you today, make a bit more sense of it. Um, but then, yeah, I, I'll, I'll be open to any questions and answers that follow. Great, thank you, Frank. And we nice. will now watch the video. Gaining entry to the tech industry is not easy. And one of the biggest barriers to getting your first job is not having the relevant qualifications or experience to secure even the most junior of roles in the industry. The Net Matters Sarn Coalition scheme hopes to combat this problem by allowing anyone with no formal training or background in development to join this industry and never look back, all within six months. Who can apply for the course? The answer is basically anyone. There is no arbitrary entry requirements, we are simply looking for the following. Someone who has a passion for tech, perhaps has built a website or dabbled in coding, perhaps you've created a game mod or you're just fascinated by coding in general. Someone who is willing to work hard during their training phase. And someone who enjoys new challenges and wants to succeed. This course is delivered remotely, with you needing to work from your home. You approach the course as if you are employed full time. You train for 40 hours per week, just like a job, and you must adhere to all normal conditions expected in an employed role. We also offer this course as a part-time option, but it still requires all the discipline of work. You book your holiday and report sickness as if employed, and you are very much responsible for yourself as if you were employed. As you are progressing through the course, you are given appraisals and small projects to work on either independently or within groups. The Scions work together and those who have been on the course longer will help new trainees. This helps both parties as being able to discuss and explain your code is a key part of being a developer. Plus, it helps solidify the knowledge that you've gained during the course. You work from a training project where you are given tasks to complete and expected to log your time against each task. The tasks are structured to gradually bring you along and increase your understanding through instructional videos and practical coding exercises. There are practical challenges, group challenges, and real life development scenarios to keep your day varied and challenging. All of your work is reviewed by a senior developer who gives constructive feedback and support to help you become a great developer yourself in as little time as possible. As your understanding increases, the difficulty and scope of tasks also increases to keep you learning at a rapid pace. After around three months of foundation training, your tasks can be adjusted to reflect the areas you enjoy the most or perhaps the industry that you want to get into. You then continue to train at your own pace until you reach a point of technical understanding that would make you a viable candidate for a junior role within your chosen field. At this point, the course focuses solely on securing the role that you want. CVs are created and mock interviews conducted with the sole objective of securing you that first tech role. We keep working with you until you secure your first position. One of our current scions, Rebecca, was kind enough to lend me some of the time in her busy day training in order to let me know what she thinks about the scion scheme. So I think I'm on week seven or thereabouts. Mm -hmm. um, and I know it's quite a short amount of time, but I feel like I've learned so much already. Yeah, so I'm working on my first project, which is the HTML and CSS reflection. Mm -hmm. So what I'm essentially doing is creating a duplicate of the NetMatters homepage. And you've learned all of this since you've been started the course seven weeks ago? I have, yes. Yeah, I, I knew very little HTML and CSS before then. A, a tiny bit, mm -hmm. but I wouldn't have been able to build this, that's for sure. Sure. I'm only seven weeks into the course, but I've already learned so much and I can see that by the time I leave the course, I will have you know, acquired so much new information um, and hopefully be ready to go into work. I am absolutely sure you will, honestly. <laughs> The course boasts a 95% success rate of those completing the course who are now employed and progressing in their roles within the tech industry. Some of these graduates have even quickly climbed to roles such as senior developer. We have been awarded the Princess Royal Training Award for 2020. 
The PRTA stands the Scion Coalition scheme among industry giants like IBM, Serco, Royal Mail, and Santander. I was fortunate enough to speak to a former Scion, Steph, about his experience on the course, and this is what he had to say. Most nearly all the work I, would, I do now is the combination of Laravel and Vue. So Laravel's uh, PHP, setting up all the users, then setting up all the uh, properties for the users, and then all the related elements for the properties. And uh, yeah, it, it's great. Like, it's really fun. <laughs> it's, uh, as soon as you feel like you've got to grips with something, suddenly you, you realize that there's a whole set of new things around this thing, um, which it, it's just always changing. There's always new developments and new updates that need to be like to be learned. And I can wholeheartedly say I would like rather be I would rather be working hard at something complicated than being bored. I think I had a, two pay rises in within a couple of months of each other. Um, Sounds good. <laughs> yeah, which is like it's great. It's, uh, so I mean, I'm I'm already on more money now than I've ever earned in my life. It's been progressing very well and uh yeah awesome. definitely happy where i am now glad to hear it man glad to hear it the last question of the day would you recommend the Scion course to anyone who's interested in joining the industry yeah for sure i mean like i would yeah i would definitely recommend the course it's uh i feel super lucky to have found it there are many routes to secure a position on this course the course is either funded through the job center or other sponsorship all you need to do is either apply directly through our website netmatters.co.uk or make an inquiry to your job centre work coach to check if you may be eligible for job centre funding. My name's Jordan and I'm a Scion currently in the final stages of the Scion Coalition scheme. I already have a job in sight for when I graduate and I highly recommend the course to anyone who's interested. This is a great first step into the tech industry. it um so are there any questions yes we do have a question is there an upper sure. or lower age limit for people who this is available to uh no there is not so the youngest person we had to complete the course was 18 um I think we can potentially look to stretch that to 16 to 18 because I know in terms of from a governmental standpoint there is a requirement to be in some form of education or training until the age of 18 so it's definitely worth a look in and in terms of the upper echelons we had a gentleman complete the course last year is now working as a freelance software developer and he was 62 so anywhere in that gap <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you. Thank you. And I believe we have another question. Um, you mentioned how to apply to the scheme, but how do employers make contact to access Scions? Uh, simple. Frank at netmatters.com. Um, contact the, the, the firm 01603 70 40 20 or contact me directly. Um, and I'm happy to see how we can help you in terms of your technical resource. Brilliant. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so if there's no other questions, I think we will move straight to our poll. So I will just start that off now. Um, please answer the questions that appear on your screen as attendees that will really help us to shape our future events. Thank you. So we'll just give you a couple of minutes to do that. Just four questions there, so it shouldn't take too long. Brilliant. OK, thank you very much, everyone. And now I'm just going to hand over to Cheryl to just give our closing remarks. Hello, everyone. Um, so first of all, I'd like to say a very big thank you to everybody who's attended this event today. 
And also a big thank you to those that are going to attend the event by looking at the recording, which you can access on East Suffolk Memes Business. I'd also like to say a very big thank you to Frank Desire of Net Matters. Um, time is a very valuable commodity and uh, that we are very, very grateful that you took the time to put the presentation together and to tell people about the, co the Zion Coalition Scheme. It's extremely um, valuable. And I think that the tech role is in every sector. So uh, any sector that a person is interested in, they could go into tech in that sector. So that's really interesting. And developers are always so much needed. Um, um, through economic development, we are very aware of that. Um, so for future events and activities, to find out what else is happening during our East Suffolk Business Festival, um, do look on the East Suffolk Means Business.co.uk. East Suffolk Digital Business Festival. You can keep up to date on all other uh, all other means, looking on Facebook um, and um, Twitter. Um, event resource and recording. Um, we're, as I said earlier, we are recording everything so you can find out more and pick up on any other topic that interests you. So once again, thank you very much for attending. Thanks so much to Frank of Net Matters. And thank you and goodbye. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye-bye.